Welcome you guys to Zoetry Mallorca. This is one of the coolest boutique hotels I've ever stayed in. We're currently in a 14th century historic church, which is attached to our hotel. It is absolutely beautiful here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys everything that this hotel has to offer. So let's get this vlog started. This property really feels like you've stepped back in time. This hotel was built within the historic estate of Sator and is complete with its own neo-Gothic church and windmill. The building dates back to the 14th century and has been refurbished to achieve the perfect balance of traditional style and modern comfort. Being only a 15 minute drive from the airport, this property was very easy to get to after our quick flight from Ibiza. As soon as we stepped into this courtyard, I was mesmerized by what was around me, and I am really looking forward to showing you guys even more of this beautiful property. Welcome you guys to the beautiful Zoetry here in Mallorca. We have just checked in to a 14th century historic castle and I have no words. It is so incredibly beautiful and peaceful here. We're gonna be spending the next three nights. As you guys have seen earlier in the vlog, we've just came from Ibiza. That was definitely a lot of fun, a lot of go, go, go. We did quite a bit of partying there. We actually ended up on a boat yesterday, a really cool boat. Um, but yeah, we definitely need some relaxation after all of the cocktails we have consumed. So this is the perfect place to come and retreat. And we haven't even explored the property yet and I'm already obsessed. This is by far the most unique hotel I have ever stayed in. And our room is just like right up there it is stunning the property like I have no words for how stunning it is so I'm really excited to show you guys around and also we get a 20 minute massage included um, so I'm very excited and the other girls are here we're here with five of us so it's gonna be really relaxing and fun I did end up saying bye to Peter today he is heading home but Melissa is also vlogging. <laughs> Hello! So with this hotel, you actually have the option to do all-inclusive. So that's the package we have. And it also includes a 20-minute free massage, which is just really nice. I also booked a 60-minute one because I'm like, I feel like I need some relaxing. But right now, we're actually headed to the pool to have some lunch. And there's a few different restaurants on this property. We're definitely going to dine at all of them. This one is right next to the pool. It's very peaceful and lovely. So we're going to get a bite to eat and enjoy this magical place. Now we're back in our hotel room. We've just been hanging out a little bit. The sun is starting to set. It is so incredibly beautiful. And I can actually hear the live music. So something kind of cool about this hotel is they have live music every single night. And it's just so incredibly relaxing here. Like I've never felt this much peace from a hotel. So we're definitely gonna go to the Tapas restaurant tonight, get some dinner, listen to some live music. And since the sun is so beautiful and setting right now, we're gonna go check out the old church because it's insane. I'm gonna show you guys. So we just got ready. We're actually gonna head right now and go get tapas. Got all dressed and the gals are here. So this right here is the front of our hotel and what's really beautiful about it is when you first walk in there's a giant courtyard and everything's preserved really well. So obviously just part of the hotel is from the 14th century and they've preserved it and restored it since then because that was a long time ago. So it would take a lot of restoring to kind of keep it in its beautiful state it is now. There's 90 rooms in this hotel so there's definitely a lot of room for guests and it's a perfect place to have a Weddings. I honestly am dreaming of having my wedding here because of the beautiful chapel and just the peacefulness of this place. The first time we stepped on this property, I just felt this calmness come over me. It definitely has a beautiful calm vibe to it. So I'm currently standing in front of what's the original part of this building. So there's a few things that are still here from the 14th century. So we have this building here, we have the windmill and the church, and then the other areas on the other side have been built on. And obviously this main building has been restored very well because it's still an amazing condition. As soon as we walked in this property, I felt like I was transported to 14th century countryside Spain in the island of Mallorca. It has such an amazing energy. 
We are truly blessed to be spending three days here. I'm so excited. All right, just enjoyed a really lovely massage. So something super cool about this resort is they actually have hydrotherapy. So even if you're not getting a massage, you can go and enjoy the hydrotherapy room. So they have hot and cold pools and they also have a sauna and just everything that you would possibly need to relax. I am just like loving this place so incredibly much and the massage was very, very nice. So I'm gonna go right now and go in the sauna, maybe go in a cold pool and really relax and enjoy this beautiful place. You guys, look at the view of the sunset from our room. It is absolutely insane. You can hear the birds chirping. Ah! If I could sing, I would sing right now. So we just watched a beautiful sunset at the windmill and our group is slowly falling apart. Louisa broke her nail in half. Lisa hit her head really hard, might have a concussion. Me and Melissa and Carla are still standing for now. Well, me and Carla almost fell down the stairs. And Mercury is in retrograde, so we need to be careful. Melissa, watch your back. Anyways, we're going for tapas right now. And this is the courtyard at night. I feel like it's just as beautiful at night as it is during the day. And what's nice is the tapas bar is connected to the same restaurant we were at last night. We actually thought we were going to the tapas last night, but we ended up actually at the Mediterranean restaurant. So tonight we're doing tapas. And there's someone playing a cello, which is so cool. So we're gonna go sit and enjoy and have a lovely evening. All right, good morning, you guys. I have woken up for sunrise because I'm actually going to do a boot camp class. So, another really amazing thing about this hotel is they have yoga every morning, and then twice a week they have a boot camp, which I've definitely been falling behind on my workouts a little bit just because, you know, when you're away, it's busy. You don't really have time to work out. So, this is honestly such a nice perk of staying here at the Zoe Tree. But, the class is about to start, so I need to go find where it is. I believe it is in the conference center, and the sun is rising behind me. I almost didn't get out of bed, but I was like, you know what? We're just gonna push through. I know I'll feel better after I do this. I always do. I love sleeping, but I also love working out, so there you go. <laughs> a lot harder than I was expecting. It was a full-blown CrossFit workout. The teacher works at a CrossFit gym. There's only two of us actually. He put us through a workout. Very, very good, but very hard. So time for some coffee oh, and enjoy the last day at this beautiful resort. I've now come to the courtyard enjoying a beautiful morning coffee. I don't think there could be a better place to enjoy this coffee. It's so incredibly beautiful. All right, so just ate a really quick breakfast. I actually have a massage right now, another massage. So with the Endless Privilege, which is what we have, that includes all your food and everything. You actually get a free 25 minute massage, which is really amazing. So I did a 60 minute massage yesterday and today we are doing the 25 minute one and we're gonna head, I'm actually walking the opposite way of the spa, but we are gonna spend the next half hour at Pier Spa relaxing after that very difficult workout. So we have just been hanging around the hotel this afternoon. I went by the pool earlier. We also explored the property a little bit today took a lot of really cool photos and some fun tiktok content so if you guys aren't following us on those platforms i'm gonna leave them linked down below but now we're actually doing something really exciting so this hotel is so amazing that we actually have not left for two days but we are going to town right now we have a car picking us up apparently there's a really cool town that you have to check out before we leave and it's our last day here so we're gonna do that and i'm really excited it's my first time ever exploring mallorca so it's gonna be good It's a fancy ride. I was not expecting this, wow. So our friend Carla actually organized this, so props to her. She really uh, pulled through on this one because there is five of us, so we actually can't fit in like a normal cab. But uh, 
we're going on tour, so welcome. <laughs> and we are in Valdemosa. Valdemosa. Um, <laughs> I speak Portuguese, not Spanish, but Valdemosa. Valdemosa, and it's the cutest little town ever. There's a bunch of little restaurants and shopping and just so cool. So I'm really, really excited to explore this place because it's the cutest town. Can you say it one more time? Val? Valdemosa. Valdemosa, okay, perfect. It's also a really old town too, so you feel like you've been transported to olden days. But we're gonna get something to eat because we're very hungry and then kind of go from there. Sangria is one of the most popular drinks here in Spain and they actually make it with sparkling wine. So we're definitely gonna get some of that. And I don't know, see what this town has to offer. It seems like a lot. made it to a place called cappuccino and right now it's siesta hour essentially they turn over their lunch menu to dinner so not a lot of restaurants are actually open so we kind of had to walk around a little bit our group has a lot of dietary restrictions as well um it was between this and a place across the street called american grill so we're like you know what no <laughs> that's not gonna work for us we're in Europe. We, that's the last place we want to go. But yeah, it's a very, very cute little spot. Everyone's here, so we're going to get some food. Um, the one thing, though, is this town is a little touristy, which they did mention to us, but I mean, we are tourists, so it's all right. You also know it's touristy because there's giant tour groups here, like withholding members and people are following them, but it's incredibly beautiful, so I'm excited to be here. After spending a wonderful afternoon in town, we enjoyed our last evening at Zotree and reminisced over our amazing time here. Getting to stay at this property was such an amazing and unique experience and it exceeded my expectations in every way. I really hope to experience the property again one day and I will truly remember the memories I've made forever. Our Europe series it doesn't end here though as we head back to Greece, so stay tuned for even more exciting vlogs and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!